In this lesson, we'll discuss three unusual signs of colon cancer that can manifest on the skin. Before delving into these signs, let's establish what colon cancer is. Welcome to Healthy Habits, your go-to channel for all things wellness and lifestyle. Whether you are a long-time subscriber or stumbling upon Healthy Habits for the first time, I invite you to join me on this journey. Watch the entire video, and let's embark on a path towards a healthier, happier, and more vibrant you. Also referred to as colorectal carcinoma or colorectal cancer, it is a type of cancer that affects the large intestine and the rectum. The large intestine comprises several segments, including the ascending colon, transverse colon, descending colon, and the rectum. Colon cancer is one of the more prevalent types of cancer, ranking as the third to fourth most common. Certain factors can heighten the risk of developing colon cancer, including advancing age, a diet low in fiber, particularly when maintained over extended periods. Other risk factors include a family history of colon cancer and a history of inflammatory bowel diseases like Crohn's disease or ulcerative colitis, with the latter significantly increasing the risk of colon cancer compared to the former. Colon cancer can manifest various signs and symptoms. The most prevalent one is abdominal pain. A family history of colon cancer and a past medical history involving inflammatory bowel diseases, such as Crohn's or ulcerative colitis, increase the risk of developing colon cancer. Ulcerative colitis has a higher association with colon cancer compared to Crohn's disease, but both conditions elevate the risk of colon cancer. Colon cancer can present with various signs and symptoms. The most common symptom is abdominal pain. Additionally, individuals with colon cancer may experience changes in stool appearance, where the stool becomes very thin or even takes on a pencil-like shape due to obstruction by a large tumor. Bowel habit alterations are another common feature and can manifest as diarrhea, constipation, or a combination of both. However, the main focus of this lesson is on three unusual skin-related signs that could be associated with colon cancer. Rare dermatological findings can serve as indicators of underlying colon cancer. It's important to note that these findings are indeed uncommon, but they hold significance in identifying potential issues in certain patients. All three of these findings are considered perineoplastic syndromes, and the precise reason why colon cancer leads to these skin manifestations is not entirely understood. Let's begin by discussing the first one, known as the sign of Lesa Trela, which is also referred to as Lesser Trello or Lesser Trello sign. This sign is characterized by the sudden emergence of numerous seborrheic keratosis lesions. Seborrheic keratosis is a skin condition that becomes more prevalent as individuals age. These lesions are hyperpigmented, well-defined, and typically round or oval in shape. They are raised skin lesions and can be found on the back, chest, arms, face, and neck. While they can appear on various parts of the body, they are notably absent from the palms of the hands and the soles of the feet. Seborrheic keratosis lesions are typically asymptomatic, meaning they do not cause discomfort or pain. It's essential to understand that seborrheic keratosis is a relatively common condition that tends to occur as people age. Typically, in the general population, individuals may develop small lesions that gradually enlarge and darken over the years. However, what sets the lesser trello sign apart is the abrupt onset of numerous seborrheic keratosis lesions. In this scenario, patients experience a sudden appearance of many of these skin lesions. A crucial distinction to make concerning these skin lesions is that they often cause itching, making them pruritic. This is a significant contrast to regular seborrheic keratosis, which does not typically lead to itchiness. Another crucial aspect of the lesser trello sign is the rapid escalation in both the size and quantity of these skin lesions. Therefore, when a patient who already has some seborrheic keratosis lesions due to normal aging experiences a sudden and significant increase in the size and number of these lesions, it can also indicate the lesser trello sign. This sign is considered rare and is associated with internal gastrointestinal malignancies, including colon cancer. It's worth noting that it may be perceived as rare because it's either underreported or often goes undetected, particularly since seborrheic keratosis is a prevalent condition among aging individuals. Thus, it's crucial to consider this sign when observing a substantial number of these skin lesions, especially if they emerge suddenly, increase rapidly in size and number, and are accompanied by itching. The second skin-related manifestation that can occur in individuals with colon cancer is known as malignant acanthosis nigricans. This condition leads to thickened, hyperpigmented skin lesions, often characterized by a velvety texture. 
These lesions are predominantly found in intertriginous areas, where the skin rubs against other skin surfaces, such as the armpits and groin. Acanthosis nigricans is a relatively common finding, typically associated with obesity and type 2 diabetes, primarily due to insulin resistance. In most instances, it is linked to these metabolic conditions. However, in some cases, it may also develop in patients with colorectal cancer, particularly the adenocarcinoma type. It's important to note that acanthosis nigricans is relatively prevalent in the general population, with most cases being attributed to insulin resistance, obesity, and type 2 diabetes. The third type of skin manifestation that can be observed in individuals with colorectal cancer is known as hypertrichosis, specifically referred to as hypertrichosis lanuginosa aquasida. In this condition, patients develop fine, unpigmented hair resembling lanugo or fetal hair. This type of hair can grow to considerable lengths but is easily plucked. In the case of acquired hypertrichosis lanuginosa, it typically occurs in various areas, including the eyebrows, forehead, ears, nose, trunk, and extremities, but it does not affect the palms, soles, or perineum. It's important to note that acquired hypertrichosis lanuginosa is generally associated with metabolic and endocrine conditions. However, in exceptionally rare cases, it could be linked to an underlying malignancy, including colorectal cancer. When hypertrichosis is related to colorectal cancer, the abnormal hair growth can precede the tumor's identification by up to 2.5 years. It's crucial to understand that this is an extremely rare finding associated with colorectal cancer. Additionally, it can also occur in other types of cancer, such as lung cancer and breast cancer. While the first two skin-related signs are more likely to occur but still considered rare, the third, hypertrichosis, is a very rare presentation associated with an underlying colorectal tumor. Before we conclude today's video, I want to express my heartfelt gratitude to each and every one of you for joining us on this journey towards better health and wellness. Your support means the world to us, and we're thrilled to have you as a part of our Healthy Habits community. If you found this video valuable, please consider giving it a thumbs up and sharing it with friends and family who might benefit from it. And hey, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and ring the notification bell so you never miss out on our latest content. If you value the knowledge and insights we provide and would like to support our channel in a meaningful way, please consider making a donation. Your contribution, no matter how big or small, helps us continue our work, improve our content, and reach even more people. It's your support that keeps the wheels turning and motivates us to keep creating content that matters.